So, uh, this is the final lecture, and uh, I'm going to do a quick review of the exam format, what we've uh, looked at in the module, and uh, a couple of little items of advice. Uh, the subheading there is from a very well known, at least to my generation, uh, Rolling Stone single, You Can't Always Get What You Want. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want but if you try sometimes well you might find you get what you need so let's uh, start off with what we looked at main parts of the module how the final exam is going to be organized. I'll say a little bit about what you should do. I'll say a little bit more about what you should not do. So to begin with, we looked at number types, properties of numbers. We went on to look at polynomial structures vectors and vector attributes. Finally, with that opening part, we looked at how basic graphics effects are realized as matrix vector multiplications. And then things started getting a little bit more interesting. We moved on to calculus and its role in optimization theory. We saw how complex numbers are used in computer science. We had a very brief look at this notion of computing as an experimental subject. And finally, we looked at comparatively recent development, the use of spectral methodology and its applications in a number of different areas of uh, computing. The exam itself can contribute 60% of the overall assessment. There will be 30 questions, it's all multiple choice question options, five options per question, and assuming that I've done things properly, there will be exactly one correct option for each question not two or more i certainly hope not zero this time you have a total of two hours to complete uh, the exam in, that is from when the exam officially starts until the uh, senior invigilator who will probably be myself announces its conclusion. The final exam is going to be an on-campus exam in contrast to the three class tests which have been hosted online. You are not allowed to take calculators or to use calculators for the uh, purposes of University regulations, mobile phones, smartphones are considered to be equivalent to calculators in this context. The consequence of that is there are certain types of questions, particularly those involving complicated arithmetic calculations, will not feature, even though you may have seen related questions on uh, class test. 
you will not see those in the final written exam. Multiple choice question exam. So you should bring at least one HB pencil with you every single year. I uh, run through a stack of 15 to 20 HB pencils because I have to distribute them amongst people who forget to take one with them. Be nice to avoid that this year. You should bring an eraser so that you, if you multiply enter an answer and change your mind, you can uh, remove traces of it from the answer sheet. Not absolutely necessary, but you might find it helpful to have a pencil sharpener available. Do not under any circumstances at all attempt to complete the answer sheet in ink and then ask an individual later what to do when you want to change the answer i can tell you what the answer to that is you will have to start writing out a new answer grid that will eat into the time you have available. The automatic marking system does not recognize ink. It recognizes graphite. In particular, the graphite produced by an HB pencil. Uh, if you've managed the class tests already shouldn't find the exam too taxing, I hope. We had a few slip-ups, not really that important, provided you revise and are aware of the areas which may have caused problems. You've already completed 40% of the assessment with the class test. It is possible that you have already reached the level regarded as a pass, although it's unlikely. Rather more likely is you've already reached the level needed for a compensatable fail under the university regulations. So just to finish, Nothing to worry about. Thank you very much for your time. I hope all goes well for the final exam. Thank you.